Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Rev Do? This is the series where I play an entire rank game and I talk about what's going on in my head the entire time. Today is the conclusion of a three episode mini series I decided to do. The first episode was an all left handed hitters team build. Uh, last episode was all right handed hitters and then this one is going to be all switch hitters. If you missed the last two episodes, they're going to be in the description below. Uh, obviously having switch hitters is good, but for a full switch hitter team build you have a bit to be desired in terms of overall at this point in the year although a lot of the cards in this team build i think are really good pretty much across the board um just as a note we have brian roberts on the bench despite being a 99 that's just because one of my most recent episodes he had an amazing game so i wanted to make sure somebody else had a shot in the lineup for this one uh, he may come off the bench who knows we also have the new 98 eddie murray from the current event at first base which is pretty cool uh, on the mound, we're going to be using a 92 Vita Blue. Uh, do I think this card is viable at this point in the year? Absolutely not. But he is uh, well, the answer to one of my favorite baseball trivia questions, which is who is the last person to win AL MVP that was also a switch hitter, uh, and that's Vita Blue. He also has a big stam, 123 stam. Uh, and we have the full God Squad bullpen ready to go because if we make it out of the third inning with Vita, I am going to be ecstatic. We are at 681 rating, and if you watched the last two episodes, you've been following my woes so far this season. Uh, we're 2-3 and three on the new season with three disconnect losses from my internet dropping out uh, mid-game. So praying that we can make it through this one, get a full gameplay with the Switch Hitter team build. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Fully expecting to get shelled. I would really like this game to be on Hall of Fame and not All-Star because Vita Blue on All-Star seems like I'm going to have a really hard time getting literally anybody out. So we will see what happens. We are taking on Bob Feller. I don't think I've hit against Bob Feller in one of these episodes yet, so that's good. Pitched with him, though. Uh, we'll check the game log right away if I can't tell from the PCI size. Really like the change that you can now see what difficulty the game's on in the game log. I like that a lot. You can just check it right away. Um, also, as a side note, you guys are probably seeing this video on Saturday, and at which point Extreme will have been out since Friday. Uh, I am currently going to be out of town, so I won't be able to make any content on Extreme until Sunday, unfortunately, but I'll make sure I'll get right on it. When I get back, um, I'll be looking to make guides for the Conquest map. If the Conquest map is really difficult or just anything to help you guys out. Um, so yeah, just a disclaimer there. But hopefully this will hold you guys over in the meantime. All right, facing Bob Feller. Been facing a lot of outlier guys so far. Or recently, I mean. And... Pretty typical stuff. Uh, biggest thing you can do against Bob is, one, be patient. He just threw me a four-pitch walk to start the game. Uh, but also make sure you're taking away the outlier fastball early in the game. Uh, you do not want to let somebody blow 102 by you all game or you're going to have a long game. Uh, if, you can get, if you can get someone like Bob Feller in a situation where they're throwing more off-speed than four-seam, that's typically a good spot to be in. We saw that in way too slow. Pretty bad at bat, honestly. We had a couple hittable pitches. Ellie's been one of my better hitters, too. Uh, but, yeah, definitely trying to take away the fastball is the number one priority. The problem with someone like Feller is he's got the sinker just like that, which is 8 miles an hour slower. So, especially in situations like this, it's kind of hard to not hit into a double play. But we just got to hope he throws us hittable pitches. That one was very hittable in the gap. Eddie Murray... My first at bat with him this year, I absolutely adored his 99 card last year. He was an inning boss, and everyone was obsessed with Wander Franco, who was in the same program. And I don't blame him, because that Wander Franco, Wander Franco card was awesome. But uh, Murray played out of his mind for me last year. So this is a first baseman that I'm legitimately considering using like at a high level in ranked. We'll see if his contact and power versus right end up holding up. Um, but so far, so good on Hall of Fame versus Bob Feller. I don't know what that pitch selection was, to be honest. That was a bit too cute. Maybe he was trying to throw it low and just completely messed up his pitch meter or pinpoint or whatever, but that was a bit too easy. Um, 
just a hang and curve O2 to Brian Reynolds. Just absolutely love to see it. So we're off to a hot start here. Um, even swings like that, go, though, early in the game, we grounded out to third base. That's a pretty good swing. Like, if you can at some point make it clear to your opponent that they're not going to beat you with the four seam, even if you have to look foolish on a couple of off-speed pitches, I really think that's the move. Uh, and kind of a funny thing that happens, too, is if you look foolish on a couple of off-speed pitches, you kind of almost accomplish your goal, too. Uh, and the fact that they would, in theory, throw you more off-speed pitches. So it's a good way to get them off the outlier, long story short, as long as you're willing to make an adjustment and slow the bat down if you pick up on them making the adjustment and throwing more off-speed. 3-1 uh, with Bruhan. I'm going to take here. Last time he floated a changeup for a ball, so he might be pitching cute. This time he's not having any of it, so we're going to have to hit 3-2. I think that's a fair take, though. We'll see if he throws off-speed now. Threw a slider in. We weren't late on that one like we were with Ellie. This is an amazing start. I think if <laughs> we didn't have Vinyl Blue on the mound, we'd have a good chance of getting a quit already. <laughs> but this dude is easily going to score four. So we need to make sure we keep hitting. This is probably a fastball. Ooh, the double up. Unfortunately, he threw it right down the middle. That's a good pitch selection, though. For sure, I was sitting fastball. We got to be aggressive here in this at bat, too. Anything near the zone we want to swing at. We've got the pitcher on deck and a runner on base, so we have a good chance of getting this run home or a decent chance if we swing away here with our eight hole as opposed to him potentially walking to our pitcher. He's definitely not pitching around us here, though. Got to be a bit careful, like low off speed here. Didn't throw it to us. Adley with the single. And we're going to bat around. First inning bat around for the switch hitter squad. 25 pitches for Feller. And we get switch hitter Vita Blue at the dish. <laughs> this guy's going to be licking his chops when he's hitting. That's why he's being a trooper right now. Maybe we can get a cheap single, get the inning. Keep the inning going, though. I don't know why he's throwing this. This is craziness. We're going to get two runs home. Unless I get held up here. I have to actually stop in the baseline. I messed that up. Uh, we'll get thrown out at second. <laughs> I was all over the place with my base running on Vita, which is my bad. But we kind of salvaged it a little bit. If you saw me stop right in the baseline, first of all, the way you do that is by clicking the right trigger or R2 with the runner selected. Um, I had to do that because if I went straight back to first base, he was going to throw me out, and there was a chance that the run didn't actually touch home plate before I got thrown out. So we stop in the baseline to make sure the run scores because we were toast anyway because we don't know how to manage our base running, I guess. I didn't think he would uh, play that so poorly off the wall, though. Regardless, we're up to a 6 nothing lead to start this game. Really could not have gone better, honestly. Is it bad that I'm tempted to get the bullpen up already? <laughs> With uh, this lead, we have some momentum, and we're just going to give it right back because Vita Blue is not a good card. Our opponent's bat speed is really, really fast right now, though. He's definitely going to keep getting a solid dose of off-speed pitches. Turned around on that changeup. I wonder if I should have gone outside again. He probably would have been early again with that swing, but he had good timing because I threw it inside. I don't know how much I'm going to have to say about pitching with uh, Blue, to be honest. Kind of just threw him in this team build for the memes. That's a very early single to keep the inning going, though. Dang. These things are going to happen, though. I mean, George Brett has, what, like plus 40 contact over my hits per nine, pretty much? So, you can imagine the size of his PCI. <laughs> I'm going to try to throw a two-seamer a bit low, maybe get a double play here. It's pretty much right where I wanted it. We'll go up and in one time for show. And that was not a good show. So, so far our opponent has not adjusted at all, actually. That was the first four-seam we've thrown all game. We gave up three runs on it, and he's still just keeping his bat speed at four-seam. So that's going to cost us, which sucks. There was an adjustment. The lead is evaporating already. 
And he went to sitting off speed that at bat too, so he's all over us. We legitimately might have to score like 15 to win this. I need these to be outs though. Thankfully Escobar runs that one down. So the middle away changeup has been our best pitch. I'm going to try to run a curve in on the hands here. Maybe get a late swing. Good take. I'm going to do the same thing with a high slider. Nice. He bailed us out there. Do we want to pitch around to his pitcher here? We can intentionally walk twice and get to his pitcher. Let's check his bullpen. He does have people warming up, so that's going to change my mind. Polanco also worse against left-handed pitching, so this is a good chance for us to just go at him. And we get the one pitch out. Nice. So a lot going on there. Uh, we had options. We had two bases open with the seven hole up, two outs, so we could have intentionally walked twice against the pitcher, like I said. Um, the fact that he already had relievers warming up, though, tells us that he would definitely pinch hit if we did so, which means we're kind of in a tough spot. Because uh, he probably wants to make a pitching change soon anyway, and we're just giving him a pinch hitter with the bases loaded in that situation. And you can see he makes the pitching change regardless, so pretty good stuff from us to just pitch to Polanco, and luckily we got the out. We're going to get eight innings of bullpen here unless he get, goes to another starter. And this guy is pitching high quite a bit. I don't think Houston Street's hard to hit unless it's on Legend because your PCI is so tiny. <laughs> Just my personal take. I know some of my friends like True uses Houston Street. Maybe I don't play on Legend as much. But, I mean, he tops out at 92, so... I usually just, like, look for change-ups and sliders, and then that gives me time to react to the the sinker if it's coming in a juicy spot, which that one was. Okay, he tops out at 94. I was wrong. Great pitch. Looks like a front door sinker. We fight it off, though. Got to be conscious of the sliders in at our feet here. Don't want to swing at those. I want Ellie to have a big game. Big game. I really like this card a lot. That was a great pitch, though. Perfect spot, pretty much. We need to be early on that. I've been late on inside sliders twice with Ellie. Not great. This game is going to be an emotional roller coaster. I can feel it in my bones. We're going to be feeling so good when we're hitting. We're going to be feeling so bad when we're pitching. <laughs> Maybe we pinch hit for Vida next time he comes up. Thoughts? Oh, how did I miss that? Something about Eddie Murray, like the way he stands in the box. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an Eddie Murray fan from real life. I just feel so comfortable with him up here, even when he's hitting against his weaker side, which is right-handed pitching. Good pitch. Just below the zone. Got me to roll over. Not a whole lot we can do with that. Um, the 1-1 one, one pitch up and away fastball was probably the best pitch we were going to see there. I check swung at it because if it was a sinker, I would have rolled it over, but I wish I would have swung. Ryan the Glitch Reynolds up here. Probably looking for... I think I want to swing at most things in the zone that aren't a slider right now with how I'm feeling with my timing and everything. Of course, he dots a slider right after I say that. <laughs> He's on to me, dude. That's a great pitch. Lucky to foul that. We got to be looking for a front door sinker on the inside part of the plate now. That'd be a common sequence. And we were late on it because he threw it up. So right after I said Houston, it's kind of easy to hit on non-legend. He just dices us. We put one up, though. Extend the lead to four. Going to try to my, try my best to stick with Vida here for at least a couple. I know it's a meme. But the it's kind of defeats the purpose of the meme if I take him out in the first. Especially with a lead. That's crushed. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Using a card like this at this point in the year is very hard. 
Like I said, most of his hitters have like plus 40 in terms of their contact compared to my hits per nine. And also my pitch mix isn't great. That should have been a bomb as well, but he swings over the top. I will take my one pitch out. Maybe you should be throwing this guy more balls too. I've kind of gotten off of it. He was chasing quite a bit in the first inning, and then he took a couple, and then I kind of just started throwing him strikes. Maybe he's seeing Vida really well. He probably is. But should definitely throw a couple balls here and there just for show. Nice. Uh, definitely go slider at the feet here. Great take. We'll go change up low. We'll try to throw it a bit inside. Maybe it's a better tunnel. Nice. I think we got him to chase. Yeah. Woo. Big Andrew McCutcheon strikeout. One more out to go for the second inning. If we get through two, giving up four, I'm pretty happy. Nice. He swings late. Okay. I'm going to get the pen up. <laughs> The try hard at 681 rating, uh, but we're hitting so well. I don't want to, don't want to blow this game. It's gonna be a bullpen game for both of us. If we don't hit well enough to get Vita up, we will uh, let him pitch the third at least initially. Cap Thomas Marte, so a righty's good. It's two of his three don't matter. We will go with Lopez for some velocity after Vida doesn't throw that hard. Also good, since he went to his bullpen so early this game, we need to be conscious of his who he's been using and where he's at with his bullpen energy and everything. So we'll be checking that a lot throughout the game. It can kind of give us some intel later on of who he may go to out of the bullpen, which may influence like our pinch hitter decisions. Obviously, we have all switch hitters on the bench, so it makes things a bit easier, but traditionally you wouldn't. So these are good things to check. Ooh, that's paint. Luckily, we were ready. What does he throw here? Over the top of it, get through. Nice. A little cheesy hit for Toglia there. Also loved that card when he came out. Happy to be using him again on the squad. Yeah, just the way I've been hitting, especially since all my lefties are facing righties. I think I just want to chill on the sliders. I think it's just a pitch I'm not going to swing at because I haven't been hitting it well. I keep giving him free outs. <sighs> that is a really tough swing to hit a double play on, with uh, especially with 97 speed in the box. Wow. Escobar with the dead red on the cutter, though. Get out. Okay, got down. If he caught that, I was going to be sad. <laughs> okay. He could definitely walk us here and get to our pitchers, so we may be in pinch hit mode here. We, I'm going to be a little bit patient for his pitch. He might just throw us balls. Okay, he's not even thinking about it, I think. No sliders. Not hitting them well. That's right down the middle. Thank you. Adley in the gap. What are the chances we get a finest Adley this year? I want Adley to get his first 99 that is in a future stars card. Uh, we are going to pinch hit here too. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. Uh, we'll get Roberts out of the way. Two innings from Vida. I think that's fair. The game wasn't as sweaty. Might have left him in. But the prospect of leaving him in for like one to three more innings is not what I'm about right now. Really surprised he's coming right after me this at bat. It's definitely weird. I don't know if I'm hitting that out with 87 power. Oh, just missed. Brian Roberts with another good timing swing, though, as he does. Now we can use some actual pitchers. 
This guy has had a super fast bat all game though, and we're throwing an outlier pitcher right away, so I'm gonna start with some off speed. He had a good timing on that. Uh, maybe I should have thrown it outside. Maybe that was just like the cutch single. Hmm. Really struggling to stay within my like approach here too. I'm talking about what I should be doing, but also not doing it a lot. I want to throw a bit more balls. Let's see if we can get some easy outs early in the count. What is he looking for here? Oh my good lord. That literally has to be a joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the latest swing I've ever seen make contact. Holy cow. Well, we're giving up at least one this inning. Gonna fish for a double play here. This is not a good spot to be in. We'll try to change up away for the rollover. He was ready. I don't know what to throw here. Sinker away for the rollover? He's late. Try slider down and in. Chase this. Good take. Sinker down and in is too obvious, so let's try change up down and in. Hope he's early. Nice. I think we get two on this. We'll give up the run. He didn't send the runner, or the computer didn't. Wow, that's huge. So he didn't even get the run. We'll go infield in here. I don't need infield in. I want corners in, second base in. Definitely don't want Jackie bunting to second base for a hit and getting this run in, so this could burn us depending on where he hits the ball in play. It didn't. He gets the run in anyway on an early swing. Oh, Dang, bro. We're making good pitches. He is not having good timing on most of his swings. We just can't get it in the glove. I can't really complain, though. That double play was huge, so maybe he deserved that run. He's going to score here, too. Maybe Vino wasn't the issue. Just kidding, we got that ball in so fast. There is so much going on here. This game is so sweaty. Uh, Devin and Mantiply. We're going to mound visit for confidence. This is also his eight hole hitter, so let's check his bullpen. C check Franco. Let's check his bench. We're looking at J Rod Riley. Who did he pinch hit with first inning? I actually don't remember. Riley. So he has two lefties. So he's got Dominguez, Alvarez, Mullins he could go to if I walk him. And then I would go to Mantiply. Kutch is leading off, so I probably don't want to throw a lefty to his pinch hitter. This is tough. I don't really want to pitch to Napoli either. Let's try to throw like some borderline strikes. Nibble a bit. Nice. Okay, this is a really good spot now. I need him to bail us out by chasing or something. Nice. Woo! That was scary. I really didn't have a single good play there. Like, his bench is loaded. He can counter whatever I do. And Napoli's better versus righties. Just have to go after him. Thankfully, we got the out. Back to work on offense. We're going to need 15-plus to win this game for sure. Should probably take that pitch. Against Chad Green, I'm usually looking for, like, sinkers and circle change-ups. The cutter slider he throws are really good, though. So it's hard to, like, account for both. I think he's one of the better relievers in the game, to be honest. Pretty hard to hit. He's making a pitch and change in a 1-2 count. It worked, because I'm 
pressing. I don't know what inclined me to swing at that pitch. Ugh. All right, Ellie. Better versus righties. Let's do some magic here. This is also his third right-handed reliever of the game, so... Depending on how long c Shack goes, might be a decent chance that we end up facing more lefties towards the back end of the game, which is good. I think lefties are generally worse, and we can play the splits a bit better with our pinch hitters. Didn't quite get that elevated. Really good swing, though. Two down, 106. He's pitching pretty traditionally this inning. Lots of hard stuff early and slow stuff with two strikes. I think I'm going to sit sinker here. It's a good time to swing 2-0. Backdoor slider. Nasty. Still sitting sinker. Dang it. Crushed it, foul. I got to imagine this is a slider now. He's gotten me out a lot with sliders. It's a great pitch. There we go, Eddie. A little too greedy with the front door sinker. <laughs> Eddie leaving off where he, or starting where he left off last year. Don't know what I'm trying to say. That's gone. Um, he's gone sinker first pitch into slider second pitch quite a bit too, so I was kind of locked in for slider there. Luckily he left it in the zone. Huge inning from us actually. We'll sit sinker here again. Get out. Back to back to back. Let's go. He's gotten really... Really predictable with his sequencing, especially early in the count, This, the latter half of this inning. Um, which I guess is like a testament to how good the switch hitter team build is. Especially when he's only throwing right-handed pitchers. Like every guy he pitches to is a lefty. So it really limits your sequencing or like how much you can really mix it up. Because you're never facing a right-handed hitter. That's four in a row maybe? Oh my god, <laughs> a brew on. That might be the lowest launch angle, no doubter, I've hit this year. See if he autopilots a sinker again. Get out. Nah, oh, too high. Oh, almost five in a row. We scored 12 through four innings, and the game is still sketchy. Jordan off the bench is fine. I'm going to try to ride Lopez a bit here. Going to a lefty isn't great. Um, and we're going to need a lot of innings out of our bullpen this game. So being up seven, this individual at bat isn't a huge deal. We might just try to get Lopez through this inning unless he starts to really get rocked. I'm really sad I left that in the zone. I had another early release on pinpoint and hung it. He's been chasing those change-ups low, too. Dang it. Okay. Uh, let's try to bury another changeup, I guess. Swing? No. Alright, we're going to run a sinker in. It's the best pitch we can throw here. I'm going to make sure it's off the plate, mostly. Gives us a good chance at a double play. And he kind of has to protect. And he's going to dump it into right field for another late swing on the inside sinker. Dude. Now visit for confidence. Oh. Frank and Kutch have done that with a runner on first. Just give me a double play on it, dude. Okay. Eddie Murray. Not a double play, but that's insane. <laughs> Eddie Murray wants to be on the thumbnail, dude. What do I do here? 
And in there for strike one. Here's an opportunity. Oh, one, if you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. Oh, two, oh, two as he waves at that one. He almost wanted it. I think we'll go change up low now. He might not expect me to double up on pitches straight down in the dirt. And if he swings for the sinker, he might be early on this. Great take. Probably the best take he's had all game. I'm going to throw a slider at the feet. Tunnels with the sinker we've already hit him with. That caught too much of the plate. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. 45 speed. Dang, 12 to 6. This game is a battle, dude. Definitely can't throw him a sinker first pitch here, so let's just throw a slider out. Now let's go to the sinker. Beautiful, he's over the top. All right, every single purse, every single half inning has had a run come across. Let's keep that going in the top of the fifth. Ideally, we'd score four and then... Pitch a shutout inning and get the mercy. Two okay innings from Jorge. Not the luckiest innings. Your attention, please. First lefty here, Franco. Get our pin up. We're probably going to want a lefty. We're probably going to want someone... Normally I'd say Mantiply because going like finesse after velocity is good, but I'm going to go Soto actually. He seems like he's been struggling a lot with the outlier sinker without guessing on it, so I'm going to try to play off that a bit longer. I don't know if he really adjusted all the way. The only swing where he did was the Frank Thomas ground out. Not going to do anything at all with those two pitches. That's fair. Adley's three for three. We get a pinch hitter off the bench here again. We are burning through our bullpens fast here, both of us. I'm going to go Swiss sure. I don't want to burn Posada yet in case for some reason we need a backup catcher later. So Swisher's good. Probably looking at some sinkers here. He wants a double play. Luckily, I didn't uh, hit a double play there. Swing was way too early. People typically go change up screwball hero too with Franco. Beautiful. We go down and get it. Dude, Franco's screwball looks so hittable after facing Valenzuela all the time. Good pinch hit. We get Dominguez versus a lefty. This is a gigantic at bat. Dominguez crushes lefties. Need to look for our pitch. I'm looking slider change. Do I tag? Pretty sure I'm out. We're just going to hold up. There's only one out. Dang, that was a pretty good pitch. I just missed with my PCI. Probably a pitch I should have taken if I could do it over. Wow. That sequence is really good. Now I got to not swing into slider in. Yep. <laughs> this guy's pitching really well. I need Murray to come throw here so I don't squander this opportunity. Yikes. I think I am sitting sinker. Hopefully he throws me one. Murray again. I don't think that's gone, but he's three for three. We're going to get two runs home, maybe. This is a close play at the plate. Dude, Eddie Murray, the pop-off. Got the sinker we were sitting on. Does he double up on it? 
He actually did. Get down ball. Nice. Okay. A ball in the gap puts us in mercy rule range here. One more good swing. Toglia is two for three. Definitely a spot where he could pitching change mid at bat again. I think it's pretty obvious I'm sitting sinker here, so I may not see one. That was right down the middle, and I missed it. Oh, <laughs> That is not where he wanted that pitch at all. I am so sad I missed that. We're going to go Soto here just to use a lefty. I don't want to use too many righties. And he's also got Polanco batting third, so it's decent. We're going to have to take the L versus Jackie, though. And I think I just want to pump some velo at this guy. I think it was... I was doing it okay with Lopez, but I really need to like put my foot on the gas with the pitches here. That is insanely unlucky for him. <laughs> That is the most unlucky thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Does any other pitcher in the game even block that? Look at this. This was entirely because of Soto's unique follow-through pitch motion. I don't know if any other pitcher in the game even has his leg here as a lefty. <laughs> Yo, that is the luckiest play in MLB The Show history. I am using the only pitcher in the game that would have pitcher-walled that hit. I am sorry, my man. I will take the out, though. Seems like he's ready for the velo. Very unlucky inning from him so far. We try to throw that uh, those fastballs a little bit above the lower corner as well, just in case they do that. He might have just barely jammed under the ball, which is why he didn't hit it out. Uh, I think Polanco's got low enough power where I can get away with elevating a fastball here and hopefully not give up a bomb. That's fine. We just do it for show. Let's go slider in at the feet again into front door sinker. Bring him up. Oh, there's no way he didn't swing. All right, we are going to go change up away. Because it's bat's been fast. He was fast, but hits it foul. What I want to throw here, go four seam above the corner outside. Okay. And we'll try the front door sinker one more time. Hopefully this catches the zone. Good fight from him. I don't know what to throw. We'll go back to the change up out. Hopefully that's competitive. Pretty much right where I wanted it, and another great swing. This guy's hitting really well. It wasn't just Vita. <laughs> He's sitting in the dugout like I told you. It's him, not me. Can't throw a fastball here, so let's go slider. Beautiful. That was maybe lucky. That caught a lot of the plate. But we somehow pitch a shutout inning. First one of the game for either team. We need two runs to put ourselves in mercy range. And he's going to go ahead and call it a game. Probably didn't want to burn through the rest of his bullpen, to be honest. That's a tough call. Like if, if that's the only game you're playing, obviously you keep going. But in terms of like a ranked season's ladder climb, maybe it's correct. If he really feels like he can't come back to just throw in the towel so he actually has a bullpen to work with next game. Who knows, but we're finally back above 700. We didn't disconnect from that game, which is a W. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this mini-series. Again, this is going up on Saturday. I won't be back till Sunday. Sunday will be me going into the extreme content with guides or player evaluations or anything you guys want to see. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. Take care. We'll see you next time.